Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do now is let's talk about intersections, right? What happens at an intersection of a road? Um, intersection road. Let's say green lights on all four corners, right? So that means everybody's driving straight. So at the intersection, what is going to happen if everybody has a green light? They're going to meet, and what's going to happen? They're going to crash, right? We don't know how fast they're going or what they're driving, so we don't need to be making a dramatic thing, but they're going to hit one another, right? So what I'd like to do with you, Rhett, that's what you're, my favorite name now for you. So what I'd like to do for you is let's talk about what happens at the intersection of lines and what happens at the intersection of planes. Okay. So. Intersection of lines. This will be something from Algebra 1 you guys probably, hopefully, remember. So if I have a line, right, and let's call this line AB, and then I have another line, and we'll call that CD. Two lines intersect at, if I was going to say describe where they intersect, you wouldn't want to describe them by saying um, a color, right? You'd want to describe where they intersect as a rhymes with a location. Location. And what do we call locations in our geometry? Points. Points, right? So you can see that two lines, can we create a location where those two lines intersect? Yeah. Right? It's like two little highways, right? Two highways are going to intersect at an intersection point, a location, right? The location is that intersection. So we can create a point. So we can just call the point anything. Now, would it make sense for me to call it E or for me to call it Z? Okay. E can work, right? But it would be, would I be stupid if I called it Z? No, because it doesn't matter. It's just the name of a location. You can call it anything, all right? So, but we'll call it E because you can kind of see the method I'm doing, A, B, C, D, E, right? That's usually how we like to keep it nice and simple for you. But if you want to call it Z, you call it Z, OK? All right, so there's the intersection of lines create a, uh, a line. Now, this one's going to get a little bit more difficult because, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get into some different dimensions. I'm going to try to create my three-dimensional plane. So there's one plane. Yeah, I know. It looks crazy. Okay, But notice the dotted line is going to be something that you can see where they intersect. So you guys can see this is kind of like one flat piece of paper. Can I borrow these real quick? So what this is like is a, a sheet of paper like this and then a sheet of paper like this. And they are intersecting, right? I can't do that because I don't have it cut. But they're, here's one sheet of paper and then here's another one and they're intersecting. So if the intersection of two lines makes a point, what do you think the intersection of two planes might make? Um, no, yeah, you, you, yeah, oh yeah. What do you think? Just make a guess. Out of everything we've talked about, points, lines, and planes, if two intersections of two lines make a point, what would you maybe guess? It's OK if you're wrong. What would two planes make? A line. A line. Yeah, exactly. All right, and you can see that, remember, these two planes are intersecting at a line here. And that since planes have infinite many space, they continue indefinitely, that this line where their intersection is, gonna, is going to continue indefinitely, and which we'll just call you know, a line. All right, and I mean, we can just use any points on this line, fg you want to. It doesn't really matter where your points are. But yes, the intersection of two planes is going to be a line. Okay? All right. Good job, guys.
We are kicking butts on day one. Don't look very excited. 